Hello everybody, Tony Soto here with TheQ.co, and I am with Jay Torrance and Megan Mercier of Neofuturist, and we are here discussing, uh, we're kicking off Pride Month. The New York Neofuturist, they have a, a Pride show called 30 Queer Plays in 60 Straight Minutes. And uh, so, hey guys, thank you so much for meeting with me. Um, so just tell us a little bit about, uh, about Neo Futurist, first of all, and then uh, what you have planned for Pride. Well, this is like 30 Queer Plays in 60 Straight Minutes is like the homo gay balls variant of our regular show. <laughs> uh, 30 Plays in 60 Minutes, um, Too Much Light Makes the Baby Go Blind. So we do the show, we try to do it every year as a, a benefit show for a queer organization. Last year we did Illinois State Schools um, and raised like over $3,000. I was doing two shows. We usually do shows on Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m., um, which we're doing this year. But this year we also added a Thursday 8 p.m. show. So um, we're hoping we can raise more money. And this year our beneficiary is the You Can Host Home Program. And what's that? It is a, a housing placement program. It's a nonprofit. It's part of You Can. You Can is a larger social justice organization. But the Host Home Program places homeless queer youth between the ages of 18 and 25 for host families if they're homeless for any reason and gives them a place to live as long as they have a job or are going to school and you know there's rules that are sort of organized between the individual and the families that they're living with but um, I think we figured out that if we raise if we raise three thousand dollars that's enough for one person to live in a host home for a year. Now Jay how did uh, how did the 30 queer plays uh, in 60 straight minutes start. How how many years have you been doing this? Yeah, I've been involved with the Pride Show 10 years, and the company has a history. The Neo Futures have a history of doing some sort of Pride event, um, and it's usually been a benefit uh, for years. The company's been around for 23 years now. Yeah. So before my time here, they're pretty active in the gay community in the late 80s, early 90s, which is something that attracted me to the company with their um, kind of advocacy for for the gay community and uh, so yeah throughout the years there's been some version of a pride show and probably the last six or seven years pretty consistently we've done 30 queer plays in 60 straight minutes because it's recognizable to our audience because it's similar to much light but then um, it's got that twist that's a real specific menu of plays that are fun and celebratory for the queer community. So for people who might not be familiar with uh, the, the, the 30 plays or the 30 queer plays, how, how does the night run? What, 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 what can the audience expect? We have a darkroom timer, which if you were here, you would see over there. And um, when we start the show, we start that timer. And there's 60 minutes on it. And we have 30 numbers that hang on this clothesline. And the audience has a list of all those play titles that the, that the ensemble has written. It's not illusory. All the stories are written from true places in our lives. Some of them are abstract dance. Some of them are political opinions. Some of them are personal narratives. Um, they're kind of all across the map. But the idea is that we're never playing characters. We're always telling honest, true stories to the people in the audience. Um, and the audience has a list of what all those plays are called. And they yell out numbers. And we jump up and grab the first number we hear. And we say the title of the play, and we say go, and then we do the play, and then we say curtain, and then they go. What's, what's the writing process like when you're, when you're writing 30 plays? For the pride benefit, we go through our archives of the year, and we choose the best plays, the funnest plays that we like to do that would fit into the queer menu. So it's a little bit like our best of show. Oh, nice. So it's a real fun and, and great menu to do. It's for me, it's the funnest show of the year. Yeah. Audiences for the Pride show. How are your audiences? Would you say that it's primarily queer? Is it is it a mixed group? Is it a bunch of straight people who didn't know it was a queer night? We had a play in probably the last two Pride shows where we ask members of the audience if they are queer, if they're comfortable to stand up. And pretty much the whole house stood yeah. up. <laughs> it's, it's definitely the majority of the house, with maybe one or two straight people. But I don't think they stumble up. Upon this. I don't think tourists from you know wherever. Yeah, you're kind of you're kind. You have to know where you're going in order to find you guys. I think. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> you might wind up in a funeral. If yeah. you're <laughs> the wrong door. Well, that's funny because that was my my. I was like, which door? Oh, there's a 
there's a funeral home right next to them. So, <laughs> yeah, right below them. There's a, yeah, so it's like, oh, well, you don't want to go through that door. Yeah. Uh, okay, so tell everyone uh, when the show, when the, when the uh, 30 queer plays in uh, 60 straight minutes is going to be. It's going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday uh, leading into Pride Weekend, which is the 21st, mm -hmm. 22nd, and 23rd of June. And the show will be at 8 p.m., um, it is a it is a benefit show, so it's structured slightly differently than our regular show. But tickets are twenty dollars. It's up on our website, and it sells out every year. We have to turn people away, so it's highly recommended to get your tickets immediately. And how can they? Where can they get their tickets? If you go on our website, which is www.neofuturist.org, there's a link on the front page that will take you to the to the ticket website. You know, I think that $20 for 60 minutes, that's something that goes to help queer youth, which is a huge problem, especially here in Chicago. You know, we have a lot of homeless queer youth. Uh, get a place to live, I think it's totally worth it. And uh, I want to thank you guys so much for talking with me about this. So check out 30 queer plays in 60 straight minutes at the Neo Futurists at uh, Ashland and Foster. What's the address? 5153 North Ashland, second floor, not the funeral home. Not the funeral home. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah.